Begin by allowing your body to get comfortable. Find a position that feels good for you. Maybe it's sitting in a chair or on a cushion. Maybe it's lying down. In any case, allow your body to get comfortable. And notice what that feels like. This comfort in your body. Allow yourself to enjoy that comfort. This simple pleasure that's available to us at any time. Getting comfortable in the body. Really enjoy that. Notice if there's any tension in your body, anywhere where your muscles are holding tightness. And gently invite those places to relax, to let go of that tension. If they want to, they may or may not be willing to or able to, but you can invite them to do so. To whatever extent you can, relax your body. And again, enjoy that relaxation. Noticing what it feels like and savoring those pleasant sensations. Relax. And if you'd like, if it feels good for you, invite a gentle, easy smile to your face. Just a simple smile. Enjoying the simple act of smiling. The easy happiness that comes along with it. Just smile.
See if you can maintain these qualities throughout the practice period. Being comfortable and relaxed with an easy smile on your face. If you lose any of these qualities, you can always return to them, reestablishing them as needed. And without losing these qualities, begin to involve the mind Specifically by reflecting on things that you're grateful for. Whatever it is in your life that gives rise to a sense of gratitude. Perhaps something simple like having food to eat. Or a warm place to sleep. Or friends to spend time with. Or perhaps something more unique to you and your situation as you find yourself at this point in your life. Reflect on what you're grateful for and tell yourself about it using sentences like, I feel grateful that I have clean water to drink. Or, I feel grateful to spend time with my family. Hear these sentences in your mind. And allow them to be a direct method for cultivating gratitude. To whatever extent you notice that feelings of gratitude arise for you, that you can feel grateful in your emotional body, notice that and really enjoy it. These feelings of gratitude may or may not be present for you, but if they are, really enjoy them. developing a taste for the flavor of gratitude. What exactly that feels like? As if it were a taste of a meal that was delicious and carefully prepared by a, an excellent chef. Discerning exactly what the different flavors feel like. Notice what gratitude feels like and enjoy it.
continue to cultivate gratitude for another moment. Very good. Now, consider someone who's easy for you to feel love for. Your easy to love person or animal. Whoever that might be for you. Someone for whom you can easily connect to a sense of love for. Who you have a relatively simple, uncomplicated relationship with. Perhaps a small child or a pet, a close friend or family member. Could even be someone imaginary, like a kitten or a puppy, or even a movie character. Someone who you feel warmly towards. See that person in your mind's eye. And imagine them being happy. Perhaps laughing or smiling, playing or dancing. Maybe recalling a happy memory that you shared with them. You get to decide what you imagine and who you work with. But let this visualization be a way of cultivating well-wishing for your easy to love person or animal. A direct method for tapping into a sense of friendliness and warmth. Practice that now. If you'd like, you can use auditory phrases instead. Telling yourself sentences like, I love you, or may you be happy, or I want you to be so happy, or perhaps something specific to your relationship with this person and who they are. It doesn't really matter whether you use images or words. The important thing is to cultivate this well-wishing, this friendliness, this warmth, this love.
And again, to whatever extent you notice feelings of love and well-wishing and warmth in your emotional body. Notice them and really enjoy them. Allow yourself to savor and soak in this sense of warmth and love, if that's available for you in your body. It may or may not be. It's no problem if it isn't. But if you do feel that love, delight in it. Enjoy it. Savor it. Let it be a reward. And however you're connecting to this sense of love and care and well-wishing, whatever method you're using, whatever your experience is like, notice what qualities it has. As if you were dialing down the volume knob of your attention on the specific person that you're connecting to and paying more attention to the qualities of well-wishing and love and care that you've cultivated through your connection to that person. Notice what those qualities are like in your experience right now. How do you know that these qualities are present. Is it something you see or hear or feel? Does it have a place or a location in your experience? Is it small and subtle or large and significant? Notice what this love is like for you.
And notice if there's a specific quality that's present in your experience. A sense of well-wishing towards the person that you're working with. That's intrinsic to who they are as a living being. See if you can notice that they're worthy of love simply because they're alive. life on this earth, in this world, in this universe is a kind of miracle, a mystery. And we can celebrate that by coming into contact with wonder that someone we love is alive. See if you can notice that. And although, of course, we may have a specific, special relationship with this person, are easy to love, person or animal. We can notice that this quality isn't special. There isn't anything they had to do or be to earn this. They're just alive and worthy of love because of that. This love is intrinsic to life. And therefore it's unconditional. Tune in to that kind of love in your connection with this person.
as the meditation comes to a close. If you'd like, set the intention to, at a later point in time, return to and notice this same quality in connection with others, with anyone else in your life, that they are also worthy of love, simply because they are alive. And that there's a kind of well-wishing, care, and friendliness that we can tune into when we notice that fact. If you'd like, set that intention now. And as you're ready, at your own pace, you can come out of the meditation.